What's good? This your guy PA with A1 Custom Beats. Um, today I want to just show you uh, how to get the most use out of your reed drum. Um, the reed drum is really a sequencer, but I use it as like a a beat machine. So um, what I would recommend is if you have uh, like the pads that go on your keyboard or if you have something like this, an M audio, man, it'll make it so much easier. That way you don't have to um, try to sequence this stuff out. <clears throat> now with the redrum, you know it comes with uh, its own stock. It's on stock kits, um, but in case um, you're going to upgrade um, as far as uh, like getting beat packs, loop packs, I just want to show you how to put it in there, how you can switch it up, how you can make multiple patterns um, in one redrum um, and little things like that um, to help your music production. So, um Okay, this is um, how I have my setup. Another thing, um, to get the, the most use out of it, I would recommend that uh, you hook up the 14.2 mixer. You just take it and you'll add it and it'll pop either up or below um, your redrum. And then as you see my chords in the back, just take one to one, two to two, and so on. Now in this mixer, you see it has 14 channels and your reed drum only has uh, 10. So you'll have four that's left open. I'll keep it here so you can get a quick look at it. But that's what you do. Uh, so that way, if you want to turn up uh, one individual instrument, turn it down or tweak it or whatever not, you can do it right there in your mixer. All right, so to load your custom uh, samples in, um, you're going to go to your downloads. So for me, I click on, you know, my name and then uh, downloads and it'll pop up. Um, I would highly recommend that you just use percussion uh, for your redrum. I wouldn't use any loops, even though I saw people use loops in there, but I don't have all the time to sit there and tweak it and, and and do all that you know so i mean but whatever works for you but as far as me i just use the the uh like the kick to snare you know the one shots the hits uh in there so like if you're ready to uh you get to your download you get into your loop pack um or whatever not let's go by it. Downloads. Pull up one of these packs. All right, so. Okay. Now see when that happens, it's, it's being tricky. That means because they usually go into NNXT and I'm gonna get to that next, what loops to put in there. But first I'm gonna show you uh, the redrum. Now see how it popped up. Now again, I had to come highlight that. Now at first I didn't have the NNXT highlighted, so with none of the samples uh, pop up. So, so let's go back up here. So to put them in, you just simply bring it over here, drop it. You know, and it's in there. Let me get this. It's in there. Now say, okay, you don't like that and you want to grab something else. Then just grab it and put it right in there. You don't have to worry about clearing it out. Now when it comes to the NNXT, which I'm going to show you next, you do. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So that's how you would put every individual uh, instrument in there. Now say... Um, 
you like the sample, but you want to change something about it. Now it has, you know, where you can change the length of the pitch or the tone and all that stuff uh, to kit it uh, just how you like it, um, which is pretty cool. And so that's um, pretty much how you put the samples in there and, you know, you can adjust it how you want to. Now, I usually make my hi-hats. Let's see. Where am I at? Like here, you see here, these are hi-hats. Now, with the hi-hats, you see how it's 16 there? Well, you can make your pattern all the way up to 64. Now, see, you use this right here. That shows you, you know, your pattern. So if you're going to make it 32, then you want the steps over here to be 32 as well. And so that's how you go about that. Now, when you <clears throat> get the pattern that you like uh, for your hi-hats. Now, when you're making it, all this is going to be on. See, I haven't even pushed play. You see how that's running? So, say you get your pattern, right? Let me turn this off. You're going to come up here to edit and then go to copy pattern to track. Now, before you copy the pattern to the track, make sure you have your margin set the left and the right. Um, where you want it. If you want it eight bars, then set it eight bars. If you want it four, set it four and so forth. And then it'll copy right into the uh, sequencer. Like as you see this one, I made it eight. And I did uh, 64 steps. Now, <clears throat> in the uh, redrum, you can also make, as you see here, multiple patterns in one. I kind of broke it up, you know, just separated it. Um, but you can make multiple patterns. Now you see how I'm on pattern one. There's nothing else because here I use the the drum machine, the physical drum machine. You know, that's just like the Kong. Um, and I usually, you know, use this for hi hat rolls and you know or snare rows and things like that so uh but you can do multiple patterns so like for right here also as you see here i made a copy of this redrum you know um and all you do is how you would uh copy and paste here command c and then b it pop right down which is pretty cool because say you like the majority of the things that are in here you know, but you want to add two more things. Well, you keep everything there and just copy this. And then, you know, put them in there. And see, that's why it says copy. Everything you see in here um, is not stock. This is all custom. Either something I made or from a, a drum kit or loop pack or, you know, something like that. Um, And so that. Right here, you see, like I said, you have multiple patterns. Now, right here, I had like a, what is this, a snare row. And, yeah, I had a snare row in here. Let's see what else is in here. There is a snare row, and then I had a the kick, like a I don't know if it's a kick roll or you know just a kick going super fast, one one thirty two, but that's how you can make multiple patterns in one redrum. Now you see it has eight patterns, but then you also have four letters, so you can. You know, make up to uh, 32 different patterns in one redrum. So that's how you load up um, your loop packs. Uh, put the stuff in there. Again, if you want to change something uh, in the sample, make it sound different. Uh, this is how you do all that. Now, when it comes to loops, 
when it when it comes to loops, I use the NNXT. And the reason the reason why is because uh I mean you can hold it as long as you want. You can uh make it faster or that's just a siren. Uh you can change change the notes, chop it up, you can do whatever it is um that you want to do to the sample. Um now when you load up the NNXT, it's uh, very important. Like, for example, let me see if I have it. Yeah, okay, so right here, you see it's the piano in here. Piano, right? So, okay, say you want to put one of your sample loops, whether it's a hi-hat uh, loop, um, a melody, uh, whatever is a uh, loop, I usually put it in here. Um, now, first you have to highlight it like this, and you want to go to edit, and you want <clears> to <throat> reset the device. Because if you don't do that, whatever you put in there is going to be playing the grand piano and your sample. Um, and I'm sure you don't want that. Maybe you do, you know, but um, if you just want the sample by itself, that's that's how you do that. Now, say you don't like the sample that's in there, then you just go, you have to go back to edit and then reset device. Um, that's how you do that. And even within your NNXT, you know, this is a little button right here. Or, yeah. You can pull that down and, you know, there's all types of little stuff. Um, you know, you can mess with to make it sound like your own, you know, it's all about branding and, you know, you standing out, you know, as a producer. Um, so that's what I do with the loops. I put them in the NNXT. Um, and so, I mean, that's about pretty much it as far as, uh, with your read drum and putting in your own custom loop from, from, uh, beat packs or what have you not. Um, again, uh, if you haven't checked out the video, how to set up a, a template, um, and it also shows you how to make uh, hi-hat trap rolls, check that out. I'm telling you to save you a whole bunch of time. Um, it's nothing like losing that ideal in your head uh, when you're getting ready to create. You know, you wanna be able to Turn your computer on, pull it up, and get right to work. Have all your favorite instruments there. Um, so if you haven't checked that out, make sure you do so. Hey, if uh, if this has helped you um, as far as, you know, learning a little bit about the read drum um, and how to do it. Oh, before I forget, again, now after you get your pattern there um, in the read drum, see all this would be on. Now, if you don't turn it off, if you don't turn it off, it'll sound like it is. Let's get it there. It'll sound like this. But see, when you turn it off. So make sure, make sure you turn this off after you get your pattern down there, else it's going to be playing up here and down there. And that's the last thing you want. So, uh, like I was saying, um, if this helped you, please like or um, leave a comment, um, uh, share. Um, all my information's uh, below. If you have a question for me, go ahead and email me. Uh, usually, when I get uh, a lot of the same emails, uh, I just make a video um, like I'm doing here, you know, explaining. You know, and just trying to help you because when I was uh, first starting out um, a few years ago, I mean, I didn't have nobody, you know, to show me none of this step by step. And the people, you know, that did have videos out, uh, it just really didn't help. So I just wanted to get straight to the point for for you. And um, again, I hope this helps. And this is your guy, PA with A1 Custom Beats. And uh, we'll talk soon.